Hey GV, I'm Carly. And I'm Hannah. And welcome back to another episode of GV TV. Before we get started, we wanted to remind everyone about the double header varsity game tonight here at GVHS. The theme is greasers, so dress up and come with your friends. Hey Carly, have you ever stayed up all night with your friends hanging out and having fun? Sure I have, why? Thon is coming up and it seems like a ton of fun. Uh, what exactly is Thon? That's a good question. Let's head out to Carson to get more details. Hey there, GV. I don't know about you, but I like having a lot of fun, and Thon seems like the place for that. I'm here to tell you what's going on at Thon. Hi, I'm here with Ashley Helm, one of the heads for the Thon committee. Ashley, could you tell us some things about Thon? So Thon is this 12-hour event that National um, Honor Society is in charge of at our school, and basically, um, it's a, there's a bunch of fun things going on, like uh, there's going to be a dodgeball tournament, a basketball tournament, of course we're going to have a dance floor open, and then a lip sync competition at midnight, and it occur it's February 26th, um, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., admission's $5, and we'd really like to see you there. Awesome. I, can, I cannot wait for that. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, GV. Joining me is Taylor Hamdorf. Taylor, could you explain to me the sport aspect of Thon? Sure. We have a basketball tournament from 9 to 12 and a dodgeball tournament from 3 to 6. For both sports, it's going to be $5 per person. All money goes to Miss Snodgrass until the 12th, and then it jumps to $8 per person until 2.30 the day of Thon. Thank you, Taylor. That sounds really exciting. Make sure to make your teams. Hi, I'm here with Cody Grasher. Cody, what is the money from Thon going to? Uh, it's going to Children's Mercy Hospital, and the money that we raise is actually going into their general fund, which goes to help families that can't pay for their medical bills. That sounds really cool. Uh, what is your fundraising goal? Our fundraising goal this year is $15,000. Thank you, Cody. Be sure to go to Thon to support Children's Mercy. I'm here with sophomore cheerleader, Kira Santuli. Kira, are you going to Thon? Yes. What are you most excited for? To hang out with my friends and watch the dodgeball tournament. That sounds really cool. Hi, I'm here with Megan Hodges. Megan, are you going to Thon? Yes, I am. Are you excited for it? Well, of course. What are you most excited for? Um, just that it's a lock-in with all my friends and I get to hang out all night long. Uh, are you going to dance? If so, could you show some dance moves? Well, I only saved those for Thon, so we'll just have to wait. <laughs> Understandable. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. Thon seems like it's going to be a fantastic time. I hope to see many of you Eagles there. Back to you in the studio. See, I told you it looks like fun. Definitely. Thank you, Carson. And make sure to come and support Children's Mercy by attending Thon on February 26th. Did you know going into your senior year and going into college, you're required to have two doses of the meningococcal vaccine? What even is that? I don't know. Let's head out to Drake and Megan to find more information. Hey GV, Megan and Drake here, and like Hannah said, there will be a new vaccine requirement next year. Let's go see what your fellow students know about this new vaccine. Can you pass this word for me? I'll try. Mehekana Wako Menin Kakokao. Um, Menin Kola? I have no idea. <laughs> I think the G's really silent though. Uh, Menin Jajakakol? Yeah. Can I use the Webster's? <laughs> um, I would say... <laughs> Minagorakal. Um, Meningakakal. <laughs> Meningakakal. Meningakakal. I think it's just supposed to be Meningakakal, but I don't know. <laughs> Meningakakal. Kakal. Menegakoral. Menegakal. Menegakalik. Menegakakal. Do you know what that is? No idea. Um, it's meningitis, but in your hair. Um, is it meningitis? Um, it sounds something for a man, because the, yep. Something for a man. Do a man? Do you know? I know. Do you know? No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> the serious bacterial illness. Um, it's an infection that that attacks the covering of the brain and spinal cord. Um, the meningococcal disease it can also cause blood infections. So it's just a vaccine that prevents against any of that. Um, anyone can get the disease, but it's more common in infants under one and children ages 16 to 21. 
So what they're wanting to make sure is the college freshmen living in dorms, they're more at risk. So they're requiring it if you're going to live on campus to have the vaccine to prevent against it. Now remember, GV, it's a state law to have the meningococcal vaccine. And lucky for you, a clinic will be held right here at your school for free March 4th during school hours. Now back, back to you in the studio. So remember, juniors and seniors, save the date, March 4th, to get your vaccine right here at your school. And remember to return your signed consents by February 22nd, 2016. Fun fact, one of your very own GVTV members is a courtroom candidate. Really? Who? Brett Kirk. Make sure you congratulate him. Now off to Eli in the field with more on this year's courtroom candidates. Hey, GV. I'm Elijah Reno. As you all know, courtrooming's coming up. And with that said, there's candidates. Let's go to the field and see who some of those are. I'm Allie Allen here with one of our courtrooming candidates, Brett Kirk. Brett, why should people vote for you for courtrooming? Well, actually, all the candidates, I think, deserve uh, to win courtrooming, and all of them would be great kings or queens, but I just think it'd be an honor to win courtrooming. That's nice. Um, and what was your experience finding out that you were a candidate? Well, actually, I was in AP Psych, and we were all just standing, waiting for uh, the announcements to go off and the bell to ring so we could leave. And I was waiting and uh, listening to the candidates being listed off. And then I heard my name and I was trying to listen to who else got it. But then as soon as they said my name, Freddy Hernandez just started screaming in my ear, my ear it's one of our own, it's one of our own. Oh, well that's cool. Thank you. Hi GBTV, I'm here with AJ Montoya, Core Orming King candidate. AJ, what was it like finding out you were nominated? Um, I was really surprised. I didn't expect to be nominated, but um, it's a big honor. It's cool. And what activities are you involved in? Uh, I'm involved in football, wrestling, and show choir. Awesome. And what are you looking forward to at Court Room? Uh, I'm looking forward to dancing, having fun with my friends, and making myself look like a goofball on the dance floor. So. Hey, that's what's up. Now I'm here with Nate Vanderpool, another one of our candidates. Nate, what activities are you involved in? Uh, I'm involved in football, track, show choir, and newspaper. Wow, that's a lot. And what are you most looking forward to to court warming? I'm really looking forward to Spirit Week because it's always fun to like dress up and stuff like that and also the dance bill just because it's a lot of fun. Right, it is. Thank you. Now I'm here with another candidate, Anthony Beatling. Anthony, what was your experience when you found out you were a court warming candidate? Um, I was actually just really surprised, ex especially considering that uh, I'm not exactly well known by most people, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool to sum it up. That's exciting. And what activities are you involved in? Um, I am in uh, the GVHS Academic Bowl, uh, GVHS Jazz Ensemble, and I don't know if it necessarily counts, but the Choir Combo. Oh, that's fun. Thank you. I'm here with Shelby Deaton, one of the nominees for Courtroom and Queen. Shelby, tell me what it was like to find out that news. Um, it was really cool because all my friends were with me in the classroom, so we were all just like, yeah, this is cool, and yeah. That's awesome. And uh, what was the interviewing process like? Um, all the people that interviewed me were really nice, so it wasn't that intimidating. It was just kind of bragging about myself. <laughs> and why do you think people should vote for you? Um, we've never really had an FBLA queen before, so I think that if we had an FBLA queen, then that would promote underclassmen to join FBLA. So That's awesome. Thank you. Now I'm here with Michelle Gutierrez, another courtrooming queen candidate. Michelle, why do you think people should vote for you? Um, because I represent a lot of activities within the school. What activities do you represent? Basketball, NHS, and student government. And what are you most looking forward to to courtrooming? Uh, probably to go with a bunch of my friends. Oh, me too. Thank you. Now I'm here with Lauren Kennan, another one of our Court Warming Queen candidates. Lauren, what activities are you involved in? I'm involved in dance team, show choir, theater, NHS, youth advisory council, and welcoming committee. Wow, that's a lot. That's interesting. <laughs> um, and what are you most looking forward to about Court Warming this year? Um, I'm excited to spend time with my friends. It's one of the last times that we all get to spend time together before we graduate. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I'm here with Kaylee Huffager, one of our courtrooming queen candidates. Kaylee, what was the interview process like? 
Um, the interview process was really nerve-wracking at first, but the people were really nice, so it made it a lot more fun. That's good. And what activities are you involved in here? Um, I'm on varsity cheer, and I also do band and yearbook. That's fun. Thank you. Those are some great candidates. Remember, courtrooming's on February 13th. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks a lot, guys. Make sure you vote by next week to have your favorite candidate... I guess Lexi and Gabby have a new game for us to watch. Wait, what did you say? Sorry, I thought we were playing the game. Let's see what it's all about. Hey Green Valley, I'm Lexi, and today we're gonna play a game called the Whisper Challenge. So let's go see if people can guess what their opponent's saying. Now I'm here with Audrey and Jace. Jace, cheer up. Let's go, Audrey. Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Well, he got it. Okay, what's the next one? Elephant trunk. Elephant chocolate. Elephant trunk. Elephant. Ele elephant. Elephant. Trunk. Elephant. Elephant. Trunk. Hearts. Heart. Trunk. I have no idea. All right. Well, it looks like you couldn't get this one. Audrey, now it's your turn. Okay, Jace. Grain Valley is lit. Grain Valley is lit. There you go. She so cheated. All right. <laughs> What's the next one? Just do it. Just do Just it. Just do it. There you go. Wow. Good job. Thank you, guys. All right. I'm here with Kinsey and Graham. Graham, you're up. Let's go, Kinsey. Forklift driver. Forward driver. Forklift driver. Forward driver. Okay, he didn't get that one. Let's move on. Swimming with the sharks. Swimming with the sharks. <laughs> he totally cheated. Okay, thank you guys. Kenzie, now it's your turn. Let's go, Graham. Armand Daniels. Dandruff? Armand Daniels. Armand Daniels. Okay, good job. Now I'm here with Cooper and Marcel. Marcel's up first. Let's go, Coop. All right. Salted peanuts. Salted <laughs> peanuts. Say it again. Salted peanuts. S say something. <laughs> I don't know. You said say. Salted. Socks. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like you didn't get that one. What's the next one? Undefeatable RKO. Say it again. Undefeatable RKO. Home. Easy. I'm, I don't know. All right, Coop, now it's your turn. Let's go. Channing Tatum. Say it again. Channing Tatum. I have no idea who I'm listening to. Channing Tatum. Cheese. <laughs> Tatum. Tate. <laughs> Okay, close enough. Next one. What? Diamonds dancing. Again? Diamonds dancing. Oh my gosh. Games. No. What? Diamonds dancing. Diamonds. Oh, really? Dancing. I got no idea. Dancing. Dancing. Did you say dancing? <laughs> okay, um, well, say something. That's it, that's it. That's it? Is that it? Yeah. Dancing diamonds, that's it. Good job, Coop. All right, thanks, guys. All right, well, that's all the fun quotes we have for you guys today. Now, remember, Thon's coming up soon, and you never know what fun games are going to be at Thon. Back to you in the studio. Who knew trying to hear people with headphones in was so hard? Thanks, Lexi and Gabby. That's all we have for you for this episode of GVTV. Thanks for tuning in. Have a fantastic weekend. And make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GVHS Eagles Media. See you next time. Hey. <laughs>